Hey guys, uh, another video here. This is kind of uh, a video for a friend. And I'm going to talk about uh, relays and what they do and um, good uses for them. Now this will be kind of set to one particular, uh, I don't know, I guess goal in mind. Um, basically what's going on is he needs a set of lights that he wants to run. They're uh, a couple set of plow lights, LED style, with a lot of LEDs in them. And the original thought was he was just going to run off um, an existing circuit in the truck. Now, I always strongly, for anybody, I, I strongly disagree that you do not do that. Uh, what happens a lot of times is those circuits are already being used by something, um, especially if it's by the ECU, like the computer in the vehicle. Um, you don't know what you're tapping into. Unless you're actually tracing fuse wires, and most people don't. They just go in there and start splicing into things. Uh, so yeah, what happens anyways is uh, you know, you splice into one of those. It already has a load that's rated for, and that wire is rated for. And then you add to it. So either you melt down wires that the fuse don't blow, or you're just going to blow the fuse. And, you know, <laughs> depending on what you're doing, if you're just driving down the road, you blow the fuse, it was to your ECU, and you kill your fuel pump, or, you know, whatever you're, whatever it's controlling. The whole computer, for that case, who knows. And well, then your car is just, just going to die, and that ain't going to be any good. So, I don't do that. Um, so there's two options here. Option one is, um, it's okay. It would be getting a high amperage uh, toggle switch, running a wire straight from the battery to the switch, and then to the switch to the lights. Which, you know, it can work, but a lot of times... Um, High amperage switches are big, they're bulky, um, they're usually a lot more expensive than a relay, and they won't hold as much current. So I usually don't advise that. Uh, using a relay is the way to go. So, relays. What, they, what are they? What do they do? So basically a relay is a switch. It's essentially all it is. Um, but it's got a couple different contact points. And what happens is you basically energize a coil. I'm going to kind of show you here. A coil like this here. So you put voltage into this coil. So you have a positive and a negative. And what happens is it creates a magnetic field through here. And on top, there's a little piece of metal, the bar in the middle, and it actually pulls into it. And it closes contacts. See how it just closes those up? So what that allows you to do is use a very low amperage and, you know, depending on what voltage you want, these things are, they go from 12 to 5, they have all kinds of different voltage coils. But for the sake of this video, we're going to say this is 12 volts. So we're going to run 12 volts here in the ground. It's going to energize this coil. It's going to close these contacts. Now, once you close those contacts, I mean, there's no power going to over to these. So you have to run power into this as well. So what you would do is run a uh, 12 volt line in here to this contact and then your load on this side so down to a load and then it should go into a fuse depending on whatever you're trying to run you know you'd have to figure out how many amps you're using but into a fuse and then out to whatever in this case we're going to say a set of lights so uh, my suggestion is for him to have an on key power so find any on key wire in his truck that turns on to 12 volts because remember, this coil doesn't draw anything, so it doesn't really matter. It's very little, very, very little. Not going to matter anything. So once you find that, you're going to run that into a toggle switch. And i got a kind of a schematic over here, so we'll look at this. I guess it would be a better way to explain it. So on key, 12 volts, down to a toggle switch. And you know this can be any standard switch, because if you're using a relay, it doesn't have to be anything heavy duty. So into there, you just switch is on. It's going to put apply 12 volts to the coil side and the other side of the coil needs to be grounded so that's just go to a chassis ground or any ground you can find and that will energize the coil to close the contacts so it'll close this pin and this pin now just for other people um, this 87 pin 87A and pretty much any auto grade uh, relay has got this same setup looks just like this on the back side it has the same numbers for the most part but anyways, this 87A, when the relay is off, this will have power. So if you have a 12 volt coming into 87, you'll have a 12 volt out on this when the relay, 
when the coil is not energized. If you energize this coil, 87 will then go to zero volts, and then 80 will have power going out. Um, and this schematic has an error. So, um, technically this should be straight from the battery into the relay, into 87 pin, out to load, and then load should have your fuse. And then going out, and then for his sake, it's a light, so go on the positive side of the light, and then just the light goes to a chassis ground or wherever he's going to ground it at. So when the truck's on, it gets 12 volts. It goes to the switch. If the switch is on, it energizes the coil, which then sends the 12 volts through pin 87 out to 80, which will then turn on the light. So then you have no you know, high amperage on that switch, and it won't melt down. Now the next thing that's cool about this Say you you know you leave your lights on, you're plowing, and then you park and you get out. Well, you forgot to turn your lights on. Well, it doesn't matter because as soon as you turn that on key, you turn the key off, you lose that 12 volts. Well, now that pin is no longer hot, so the contacts release, and then there's no power going to your lights, so they're just going to shut off. So that's another great thing about this. You you know if you ever forgot, I mean I guess you really can't miss your lights. You go back and turn them off, but this saves you the fact you're walking back to your truck and have to do that. So you can be lazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I kind of set this up. I know this is a mess of wires over here, but here's the circuit. I'm just using a 12 volt test light as my lights. I have my bench top power supply. I'm going to use this as my ignition. And this is my toggle switch. This will be in my dash. And here's the relay. So on this relay, do the best I can to kind of show this. So this right here is pin 86, which is the ground side of the coil. This one right here is uh, pin 85, which is the positive side of the coil. And I have it going to the toggle switch. And the toggle switch goes back up into my on key power, which is just a, you know, I have it on a switch. And for the sake of technically, you know, the on key is obviously going to be plugged in somewhere along the lines into the battery of the truck. So, and then from there, I have on pin 87, the yellow wire goes up into my power supply. So there's always power there. And then pin 80 right here goes over to my test lamp. So... My toggle switch is currently on off. I'm going to go ahead and hit this button and nothing will happen. Alright. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn my toggle switch on. And now I'm going to start my truck. Oh, there we go. We got lights. And if I don't want them on, this is a momentary switch so I can't let go. Turns off. Back on. So get out of my truck, I'm done for the day, and I forget to turn my lights off. Well, turn my truck off, lights go off. So what's happening in there? Like I said when you're hitting that button, it's just applying that coil and making that uh, contact. If I can find it. There we go. Just closing them so when you, when you let go of the power, it opens them up and nothing goes through anymore. So I hope this video is helpful to somebody. I know there's a lot of other videos out there. This one was kind of specific to his situation. I figured I would make it. Um, if you guys have any questions, would like to know more about this kind of thing, let me know and I'll see what I can do to answer them. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe if you like my channel. Thanks for watching, guys.